Issues that happen as a content creator with a lot of fragrances. I'd mentioned it in the past that I went over to Neiman Marcus, usually doing my window shopping routine, and whenever I see any of the private blend Yves Saint Laurent black bottles, I gotta pick it up. But sometimes I forget what fragrances I have in the collection. Story time. I picked up Yves Saint Laurent number no. six, which of course I already had. Shocker. Kuba doesn't remember anything. I don't remember. So now I got a second bottle, brand new, in the box and I'm like, I'm gonna have to sell this joint because I don't want to return it, go through that mission. So I reached out to the homie Caleb over at the fragrance, Neva. And I was like, my G, I got an extra brand new, let's try to do some sort of swap. He's like, bet, I'm down. And there was a fragrance on his website that I'm like, hmm, looks interesting. Then I looked up the notes and I'm like, sounds right up my alley and let me tell you that this is my fragrance of the day and yeah, boy. Let's roll my music so I can put you on to this Stefan Umbert Lucas fragrance, which blew my nuts off. Bless you, one of my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Yo. Shout out to the homie Caleb for doing this swap and shout out to me for blind picking another gem. The thing you gotta realize is once you start smelling a ton of fragrances and you do this kind of content creation, based on no breakdowns, you kind of start to feel what your particular taste is. Now the no breakdown of this particular Stefan Umbert Lucas fragrance seemed 100% up my alley. There was nothing about it that was gonna be like, eh. So I was feeling fairly confident about this swap. Easiest transaction ever, as I usually do with anybody I build a relationship with, and this fragrance is Sand Dance by Stefan Umba Lucas. I've already opened it, because like I said, I'm wearing the fragrance today. If you haven't seen what their presentations look like, fly bottles, cool presentation, it's a slider sleeve. You open the joint up, bing bang, no big whoop. But here's what the bottle looks like. It's a nice caramel brown, mad sexy. Love the design of the bottle with that serpent in front. Super ill, right? Right? The presentation, fly. This is my third fragrance in that lineup, but forget the presentation, bro. As Big Beard would say, fuck the box. I don't give a fuck about the box. The scent, though? Bro. Woo -woo! Let me just spit the notes at you, because you'll know right from jump, at the top notes, why it's Uncle Kuba speak. The top notes of this fragrance are listed as whiskey, coriander, and mandarin. Talk to me nice, followed by cacao sandalwood and cashmere. And at the base, we're looking at tonka benzoin styrax white cedar extract and patchouli. Babo, this is incredible. I love what this does off of my skin. The whiskey caramel butterscotches type scent profile that's in this fragrance that's exuding from that benzoin patchouli combo is money. Once again, I don't know how people ain't talking about these joints, bro. This shit is fire. I know everybody's on the God of Fire and all this other shit. Cool. Those freshies lit. Fire. Super dope. Whatever. This for me is the pings, fuego, lady five titties. Ooh, amazing. I'm gonna respray this joint fresh on the test strip so we can get the opening aspect so I can give you my interpretations of this sexy monster. Truth be told with the sand dance aspect, once you put your nose to it, you kind of feel a little sandish type energy, almost granular, that scent profile. The whiskey here, delicious. There's a little bit of a hidden like Coca-Cola kind of energy. You get this butterscotches cacao benzoin patchouli blend that makes it super nice, slightly sticky, very dense, wildly beautiful, very masculine, leans more towards cold weather, but has a ton of personality and sex appeal to my nose. Now, fortunately for me, the whiskey stays throughout from opening to dry down. In that midsection, you start to get a lot more of the sweet ambery notes coming out of this fragrance. The benzoin vibe stays complete throughout as well, along with the whiskey. And there's a little bit of an underlying peatiness off that whiskey, which I do appreciate. It doesn't come up until that mid full dry down, that peaty kind of earthy sensation, but it adds so much interest and in this sexy captivating nature about this scent profile that gives it that niche push, that niche quality, that damn bro, why is this not on the hype train? Let me re-smell this joint on the skin right now. Bro, come on bro, is, is, are they coming? Uh, uh, with a jacket on? Tell me there's goose pimples with a jacket on. I'll wait, I'll wait. 
Bro, it's like a little bit of a flung essence. Like grandma was in the kitchen all day cooking up a fire meal and then she decided to make a homemade flung with that beautiful caramelized brulee sugar on top. Just crack that shit and you just taste that, that juicy, that milky, that sweet, that sugary flung, that soft energy. And then you have that little, little aperitif cocktail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, que lindo, man. This is absolutely beautiful. All 100% Cubano certified an absolute stellar piece excellent quality the performance on the fragrance is kind of moderate though so that's something you got to keep in mind like I have very limited experience with the house so I don't know if they're consistent with their performance throughout but for me on the type of vibes that I'm looking for I would expect this to have like a 10 12 hour performance it hovers around that seven hour mark which isn't bad but as dense and dark as this joint is I would have hoped it lasted a little bit longer but it doesn't really turn me off in any way shape or form if I really wanted to reapply I just would or I'll bring it with me it's a 50 ml it's not gonna break the pot look just tuck the bitch in like it ain't that deep nice you know what's interesting starting to dry it down for comparison's sake and i'm not saying that this is a clone or one-to-one -one, but it's in the space that cacao and boozy kind of energy is kind of in the bubble of like a killian black for kind of like boozy cacao butter scotchish it has that dark ominous presentation that i tell people it has like it has a bit of that so for comparison's sake it's in that bubble so in case you were like uh i got some extra cash and i want to blow the bag but i really don't understand what genre it would be in in that space tell them to bring me my money yeah. let's say a black phantom or a pure malt by terry mugler something in that realm but absolutely amazing goose pimple worthy a great blind trade like i'm so happy that i saw this joint on his website and decided to proceed with that trade because this is absolutely a ball sprayer and one that i'm gonna reapply because it's that freaking good <laughs> I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Have y'all tried Sand Dance by Stefan Umbert Lucas? And let me know what your thoughts are on this particular scent profile because I find it right up my alley. If the performance was bumped up just a little bit more, it still wouldn't make a difference. I still rock the shit out of it. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let me know what your favorite from this house is. Leave it in the comments below. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what it is, biggest in the game. Smooch. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>